smart. They've got to play D with their feet. That was Adele to Igbunu for the first make of the game. Igbunu at 6'10". And height tonight, well, it matters. Bear, two-man game with Morgan here on the other side. Good swing to the corner to notice. Passes up his look to Bear. Back rim. Nicholas Bear. Five times. That is a recipe for success. Long Island last, dead last in the G League in steals per game. Tip in from the paint. Incredible, they lead in that category. Points in the paint, 54-32. No surprise. Ennis. Well, Williams and McBoonu do the job. Brown Ridge across the free throw line. Bryson, who had a really nice first half, a jump hook rattles off. Moore stuffed at the rim by Egbunu, picking that one up. CJ Williams for the Nets. Funnels it ahead. Kennedy, nice pass inside, and he is rewarded for that extra dish. Sam, watching Moore run the floor, he's grimacing a little bit, and obviously was late getting back on that last defensive play. But on that baseline, was he moving? And therefore, that's why they said that foul actually happened earlier than the whistle. Well, Long Island has gotten the deficit under 20. The pass by Washburn deflects back to Munford with a shot clock at 8. Washburn takes a few steps to his left, unable to lock Long in. Long Island nets today. They're now 8 for 35, under 23% from the perimeter. Brian Kamaji's 15 rebounds ties his career high. This guy is just trending upward. Feed the man. Jump hook, no good. You kind of got to live with the kick out threes if you got to jam in the paint. Bear back to Ennis. It was Bear. Nope. It's Bear Morgan. Morgan hands off to Ennis. To notice. Slips past his former teammate. Couldn't elevate. A little stumble, and Dangadel got the best best of notice that time. Hands up to Igbunu again. Too easy. How do you deny that, Amy? Well, that time they tried Six to. Six foot nine. Is this your Zan and Musa? With him and Mitch Creek, and that's just the simply don't get, get out and run nearly enough. And I, I don't think slowing the game down is going to be in favor for the 905 tonight. And their bread and butter is going to be low top. The low top. I won't be doing it. <laughs> I would love to see that. Voodoo. He's got 10 and 9. That makes it his fourth made field goal, but he's just two of nine from three point range. Shiz Alston Jr. Pick and roll with Kamaji, right hand floater off the front. Help when the guards are penetrating. Anderson thought about it, thought better of it, taking it strong to the hoop. Oh, that's and the style. right there. That's the style, right? Oh, size advantage, what's that? Let me go for mine, too. Jalen Adams driving on Primo. Adams has it swatted by Egbunu. Off to block this shot here by Adams. Man standing and he got it. Long Island looking to make modest inroads midway through the th third quarter. Highsmith whips it the other way. The ball finds Brownridge. This is a look from the corner. Moore for a second opportunity with persistence. Egbunu. The last four opponents combined record of 23 and 46 coming into action tonight. Only a 33% win percentage. But again, you win, you play who's on the schedule, beginning of his career as a coach and he is the coach on the floor. I know it's cliche to say it, but he is every bit a coach on the floor here for this Long Island Nets team. Lindsay working his way inside. Egbunu another block. John Egbunu has been all over the place since Brown and Sullivan. Josh Gray hanging. Finds Bigby Williams inside. Blocked by Egbunu. Analytics major now joins and Jamal Melilla is happy to have him and his brand new ideas, Gareth. Good stuff, Akil Augustine. Our second double A is going to be with us all night as Dengadel. And Massenburg, Anderson to the corner. 
front rim. For you, Garrett, at what point is there no smiles anymore? <laughs> right. I I'd like to see it. <laughs> Crunch time, fourth quarter minutes. Boonu comes down with it. Rebound number seven. Karuts running the floor. Sweet to the hoop. One of the and one. Morgan threatened. McMurray to Karuts. Good defensive work by Notice getting out and up. Adele with the miss under duress. Great defense again by the Raptors 905. Evans on the push. Four seconds. Back to the bear. The bear. This time, nothing but air. He got the hot hand. He's got to shoot that. Notice Evans bear. Anderson, that man pawns. Oh, no. Can't get it up and over. Go right into the paint. You see the 905 hit, look for a three. Both oh. teams playing to their advantages, and there it clicks. This is going to be a long night for the 905 if they have Tony to. Who wrestles him. the rebound away from Kanate? Now Dang Adele bouncing for Egg Bunu. Bunu. Good feed from Dang Adele. The Johnny. Adele going right back to work. The lob for Egg Bunu. Timeout. Raptors 905. Kennedy coming down the right side, splits the defense, didn't get it, but guess who? Egbuno in for the foul. Smile shot. spreads across the face of Kamaji. Why not? He nearly took that one away from Egbunu, but Egbunu was able to shed Kamaji and get in to jam it away. Well played, buddy. Chuck D. With my two double A's, Amy Otterberg and Akil Augustine. Happy to have you along on a Friday night. Raptors down a five, made some serious adjustments. Biggest player on the court is Nicholas Bear right here at six foot seven. Bullied right there by John Agunu. All 6'10", 257 of them. He's got three point uh, makes. I think three of the four have come from that exact same spot. Yeah, left hand shooter, he's got the ball inside. Agunu again, straight out Bear. Doing all that he can, the polar bear. That's going to be foul number three. Bench, go with the hot hand. Nicholas Bear in for uh, five Kudu. I mean, that's his game. Keep it simple, be aggressive. At 19 a game, gets right into the mix. Tied up at 11. Turnaround is good. Dropping that one in the tin. It's Egbunu. The bench squad is doing work for the Blue Coats today. Really impressive stuff as Munford comes in to help facilitate. And there is a dunk delivered by Long Island's John Egbunu. Not to say that he wasn't last year, but he looks a little bit bigger and he's been playing tough. Absolutely. And I say, because some people could take it the wrong way, he was a two-way guy last year. He is not a two-way guy this year. But what are you going to do to continue to develop late whistle? to continue to develop so that, you know, an opportunity could be down. CJ Williams, careless pass, fortunate bounce to Kennedy. Underneath, Sonigo lays it off. Egbunu has been playing great today yeah. for the Long Island Nets. He leads the G League in field goal percentage. You can see why he's over 75% on the year. Swing down low, it's Kurutz. Good swing, hands. Oh! And then Budu cleans up that mess, wheels up. Yeah, no one around well. him. <laughs> when they're uncontested and one foot for the oh. rim, and you don't even have to come down to hit that. Five. Just couldn't get that pot away. It's Kennedy with the John and Musa in the high post. Musa the floater, rims out. Egbunu the offensive rebound, and he sticks it back. Left of the lane, looking for help. Gets it to Sonogo across the lane. Blocked away by Mack, picked up by Egbunu. Turned on the right block, forced it off the glass for two, and he draws the foul. His offensive skill set is as he reaches 12 points. Well, for whatever reason that Connor Johnson made the adjustment to have Mumford come off the bench, it has not hurt his game as he has the 12 points and five, re five assists and three rebounds. Timote Luau Cabarro. Their two-way players are out. Throw down Egbanu Anderson 
made contact in and one situation as John Igbunu, well, what a start for him. High pressure defense into some good offense. Now, if they build a solid lead, maybe they slow it down to run some clock, but that's late game. Oh, wow. Igbunu almost landed on Nicholas Bear. He's going to be going to the free throw line. Playing that body and the player just kind of turns. There isn't a roll or a pop. He's just kind of there. And sometimes it's tough, right, as a big, you depend on the guards to right. actually just use that you too. if you get up there and get your feet planted. Because I'll tell you, that was one of my biggest pet peeves. <laughs> if I'm... Massenberg, Ibunu, Williams, Adele, and Kennedy on the floor for the Nets. Oh, oh and one! It's a four-game season series here, and... Letting everybody know he's in the building with a huge throwdown. John Agbunu on the other end. And that'll get everybody's attention here in the building at the Coliseum. Great crowd here, Kevin. Trust to use that valuable challenge here late in the third quarter. And those are always interesting conversations early in the game because the coaches naturally, as Agbunu powers his way Just inside. Just 7 of 20 from the field. The three-point shooting wasn't exponentially better for Raptors 9 or 5. But those make me nervous. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I see you backwards your friend. Oklahoma City Cowboy and Oklahoma State Cowboy, I should say, Nick Bruno again. Most of the time. Primo for Egbunu again at the rim. How about the hang time from John Egbunu? <laughs> Luwawu Cabarro has it on the left wing. Goes inside Egbunu, double clutches, hesitates and slams it home with 12 Sweet. points. Two minutes into the third quarter, Egbuno gets it inside off the left side of the window. Two more, John Egg.